Milk cooling tongues are essential parts used to cool milk immediately after milking, helping to prevent bacterial growth and preserving milk quality. Steel milk cooling tanks are made from a variety of materials, including stainless steel, carbon steel, and aluminum. Stainless steel is the most common material, as it is resistant to corrosion and easy to clean. Direct Expansion Tanks They use a direct expansion refrigeration system, where the milk comes into direct contact with the cooling surfaces. The refrigerant cools the surfaces, thus cooling the milk directly. Milk cooling tanks are usually divided into horizontal and vertical tanks. Steel milk cooling tanks usually have various features including 1. A mixer to help evenly distribute the milk in the tank 2. A drain valve to allow milk to drain from the tank. 3. A lid to keep the milk clean and prevent contamination. In addition, the milk tank contains a refrigeration cycle, where we have the following parts. 1. Evaporator. We want to mention that the tank wall adopts advanced plate evaporator to directly exchange heat and refrigeration with milk. 2. Compressor 3. Capacitor 4, Expansion Valve 5, Pressure Switches 6, Condenser Fan 7, Condenser Fan Speed Control 8, Liquid Receiver 9, Filter Dryer 10, Visualizer 11, Expansion Valve. In addition, milk tanks usually have a temperature sensor to monitor the temperature of the milk, a control system to regulate the temperature of the milk. In this case, the tank that we are seeing on the screen works with R404A refrigerant. The speed of the agitator is on average about 36 revolutions per minute. On average, for every 500 liters of milk that needs to be cooled, about 4.5 kilowatts of electrical power and 0.55 kilowatts for the agitator are required.